stuff from the flea market, all my trains. Uh, this is just a quick video. Uh, I forgot to add this in the last video. It was that, uh, what are you looking at? Uh, was that little mini train set? Engage? Uh, Atlas Engage. Uh, it's the Pennsylvania Railroad, though. I'm gonna dig this out. And, uh, I'm thinking these, this, this trolley car works on this track, too. And then that crane train. Ah, wait, no, the crane train's regular. Yeah, it's big. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that might be kind of neat. Uh, but now I'm gonna take and put it together and see. I didn't look it up see if there's any value in it, but, uh, yeah, being Pennsylvania Railroad, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I just decided to look that up. Uh, it's better. Look, it used to have a cover box. I should have known that. It would have probably something that went over the top of it. Uh, like a nice little work on it. Uh, yeah, and the little transformer had a box. Uh, I haven't taken it out of that shrink wrap plastic yet, or wrapped up plastic. Uh, this set on here now, of course, it looks basically probably new. I know it says used, but uh, $249. I just clicked on completed. Now this gun went for $62. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know if you can even see this dumb thing. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Um, looks like I don't have, I don't know, that's different than mine. That's a better insert. Mine didn't have that insert. Uh, same transformer. Uh, and I don't have my boxes, so, you know, I figured we'll see what's going on with it anyway. Where's that? Right there. That should look horrible. Mm -hmm. Larry, no. No, Larry! Get out of there. I'm trying to tape something. Mm. Oh boy, no. Oh, don't put your butt on it. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd just tape this segment, but it would appear the camera. Either I didn't push play. Oh no. <laughs> this is not going. I don't even want to build this dumb train set now. Oh my god. This is not worth oh. <laughs> I think that was the case. It was already cracked. Larry, don't grab me. Uh, I, don't, I think that's going to be too high up. Uh, I guess this video, if nothing else, would be a nice training video to how not to do things or how aggravating things could be. you got to stick with it. Right, Larry? I don't know. What a cluttered porch. I'm some kind of pack rat, Larry. Oh, All right, I got this out of the box. I don't think that footage got recorded. Ow. <laughs> All right, I had taken out train cars. This one was broken in case I didn't already, sh if that didn't show up on their, uh, their feet. Uh, feet. The wheels are off. I would assume there's supposed to be screws holding them in. Uh, I don't even know if this is going to work. I'll have to put the track down. There's the locomotive. Hmm. Nice. Uh, uh-oh. That would appear to be a broken coupler, so... I'm not going to have much of a train unless it runs backwards. I have a feeling this probably doesn't work. And I won't sell it to somebody saying it did. If I wouldn't have tried it first, then I could have got away with that. Right, Larry? Nah. Uh, oh, there is a direction thing. That's cool. So that means I should be able to turn it. Nah, that probably means 
I mean for the track or for the road. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I gotta start trying to use that other my uh, cheap knockoff GoPro. No, Larry, don't. No, don't touch it. No, no. Here, plant your ball, buddy. There you go. Careful, do not hit the camera. The camera's older than Popeye. <laughs> now, careful. Oh, this is not gonna go good. Uh, but Larry's the closest thing I have to a dog. He likes to stick around closer sometimes. I didn't get shocked to death, but I didn't feel any hum from this, which I always thought they had a hum, like a vibration. Huh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's a waste of my time. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm even doing here. Oh, uh, you know what? I think there's something else missing. Oh, no, here it is. Almost got out of it, Larry. All right, got to build the track. Which is not very big, so and my eyesight is not ready for this. <laughs> oh shoot, my phone is ringing. Hello? Oh, you too. Uh, I'm just making a video about a train set. Those some more adjustments that didn't do any good. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't think this transformer works. So I'm probably taking and messing around for nothing. Um, some of the things are on the wrong things. 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 Need one with two, Larry. Two, two, Larry. Not one, but two. Ah, uh, you know what? I think this is a bust, Larry. I don't think it's working, so I guess we're not doing it. Ooh, what's that black smoke looking thing on this? <laughs> oh, shoot, I can't put it on like that. Boy. with none of them. Larry! I'm going to try to get away with only making a round track because I do not want to... I don't think it's going to work anyway. I only have to make it oval. I don't know. I hope this is an interesting to you folks. <laughs> Alright, let's try it out. Does any of this line up on the end of I guess we're gonna make the whole thing, Larry. Aw, oh, it just fell apart, didn't it? Get out of the front of the camera. This track sinks, stinks. You know, I think this video is gonna end soon. Thoughts are full of secrets. <laughs> um, I don't want this thing to go, Larry. What are you doing? <laughs> Jumpy today? No, 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 no! Really, Larry? <laughs> yeah, look at that cat. Dummy. Oh, this isn't paying to get. This is not going to work. I think it's junk. I had hopes. Nice enough to train the engine works, but the bro well, cause the broken coupler, I suppose somebody could fix that. That ain't no big deal. Ain't no big whoop dog. See, there's a, uh, uh, the progressive way. That could be insurance. Yeah, I, I hit me with progressive insurance. Had to go to court. Now, the boxes are marked Atlas, too. It's too bad this, some idiot cracked this one. Oh, uh, sorry, cracked it. Well, that tape is not on the crack, so I cracked it. 
got the little coal hopper, or whatever it is. Uh, we got a tanker. It says General American Transportation Corporation. And the caboose says nothing. And then there is the engine. This is the case for that, Larry. So, oh, it's just nice. I got a couple long cases. That's why I've seen them in the track. And, uh, oh well. Disappointing. No video. I'm just going to sell it off to some of the flea market cheap. I'm going to keep these nails. Not that I need, really need them. They're a little too small for them. Uh, just the nuisance nails. Nuisance nails, Larry. You might as well sell it in front of the camera because it didn't matter. Oh, why am I taking this crap out? Alright, so... That was a bust. Thanks for watching anyway. Um, you can watch me tear this apart now. What do you think, Larry? Huh? Um, yeah, I wouldn't even get to try this. I don't think it's right. Nah, it's the next gauge. I don't know what gauge that would be. I can look that up still, too. Uh, oh, yeah. Here, I'm going to wind these cords up carefully to make sure they fit in the box. Uh, I can go there. And that locomotive in this box. I got all. I got all the plastic boxes. Even this one's cracked. I one of the other ones was too. Let's see. And I'm not sure why that what that long box is for. there typically and I did not do it by the proper way leaving those other nails in there uh, I think it's missing a few of those uh, coupler thingies so. that's alright I'm going to put five bucks on it's probably all I'm going to ask I'm not probably going to at least ask maybe ten or something I ain't going to get next one it's not a complete set and I can't prove that they have Transformers any good. I swear it should be making a noise when it comes on. I'll put my nails away. Gain the box of nails. Yeah. Oh well. Right there. Uh, hopefully I'll get another video together. The summer's over. Not much is going to be happening now. The flea market's going to keep dwindling, which sucks. I'm going to miss it. I kept thinking I have a half a year, but you really only get about five months of flea market time, and then minus anything where it's going to rain and mess that all up. So, uh, I don't know. I kind of wished I was somewhere I could set up more. I don't really care if I set up all year. It'd be always nice to have a break, like three months or something, but it would be better for somebody like me to have a flea market all the time and then just try to take breaks from it occasionally, which I probably wouldn't, but, uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, have my stuff flowing easier. That's what I was going to say in this video. It was also that reselling's cool, but getting backlogged by stuff isn't good. Uh, I think you should have a good eBay sales, sales stock. Uh-oh. what I do later? Uh, here, we'll look at Larry some more. Um, yeah, I was going to mention that if you're going to be a reseller, to uh, you should have a, and I have an eBay store, which I don't really know if I'm crazy about paying an extra fee every month, and I don't know what you get now with just a regular an account without a store, so I'm not really sure if I'm ready to uh, find out either. I got still have around a little over 900 listings now, and don't really have any urge to go up higher anymore. I want to get some more stuff cleaned out, try to be a little more picky on what I have. But if you're going to do a decent business, especially with all the competition and people getting picking stuff up, you really have to have 
a wider range of stuff. Um, I'm probably going to, uh, I don't know, I like, oh, I've got sidetracked here, <laughs> that, that's not unusual. Uh, I would say that you should find a local flea market, so you can move along some of that stuff you bought that you probably shouldn't have, because, you know, I don't know how many times it happens to you, but when you look something up on eBay while you're out looking and sourcing, and it looks like it's pretty good. Then you get home and there's like 30 of them on there for some reason that you didn't see before. For one thing, barcodes aren't always that great because not everybody bothers to put them in. So without that being in there, you're going to have less options to find it. The whole search thing with eBay is funky anyway. They want you to fill all the stuff in, but you're, it seems like maybe your title's not doing what it used to do. I would think the title's the best thing still, but and all this other junk. I don't know. Anyway, and the other thing is to have, uh, you know, to have another way to get rid of stuff, you know, um, flea market's nice, but you have to just move stuff along, and I, I have stuff, I've taken a lot less on a few things, I try not to buy the wrong stuff, but it's not, it's always easy, and with me having, you should have an auction, that's what I, one thing, I've been going to an auction for over 30 years, I used to go to a lot more, estate auctions, but after COVID and stuff, I just kind of quit going to them. Uh, I think it had more to do with not having the funds to spend all the time. I typically just go to Cox's and Elgin. I've been going there since the late 80s, so uh, things changed a lot since then. Uh, but it's that's your that's the place for me where I can always find seem to find something that I can resell and. Uh, it sucks because I can't get some of the stuff cheaper than I used that I used to get. Everybody's buying it, but uh, I figured uh, it's been good to me over the years. And then my I haven't really went out of town sourcing much. I go to Salvation Army in Union City on Mondays, but uh, only because I'm going to the auction anyway. I used to go down, try to go down to Oil City and stuff to Goodwill, but. Uh, since I opened the one in town here, and then I found two more shops, I just really haven't felt the need to travel. Uh, I, I worry about missing things, because part of finding that cool stuff is always being around. But uh, I just can't do it. I just have to let it go, and just hope I stumble onto stuff, which I usually do. I just know I'm missing out on a lot of things that I could be getting. If I lived in town, even because I'd probably be in, um, don't have much else to do other than goof off. I would go to the stores probably. Well, Goodwill I'd go to probably twice a day. It'd give me a reason to walk or something, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess. Sorry about the train video. That was a bust. Um, let me figure out. Uh, <laughs> maybe someone will give me at least ten bucks. Think they got a bargain. Which actually it would probably be. I think I could list. I could probably list the cars and still get decent money, 20, 30 bucks on eBay. I just probably I would get rid of the box. I wouldn't even keep it. <clears throat> and probably only put the uh, cars on. Anyway, that's uh, gonna whoa. That's gonna probably do it. Um, Larry. Uh oh, there's your mother. Many rows. Oh, here she comes. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, now he was here first, Meanie. Kitty. Oh, I love you. Oh, many rows. Ah. We say. Don't. Thanks for watching, Larry. Larry's got some problems with getting into stuff. I don't know what he's gotten into. He had a big scab on there. Hopefully, he hasn't been fighting with groundhogs. All right. No rabies yet. So. Well, happy Sunday. As you can probably see, I, I don't know, can you tell it's raining? I don't know. Uh, yeah, not going to no flea market today. It would seem that I got rained out. I loaded the van up. I shouldn't have loaded until this morning. Oh, well. I don't know, I sure could use today. I had all those trains to sell. Oh, boo, hoo, boo. <laughs> Oh well, I gotta unload the van when it quits raining, maybe. I don't know.